So the reason why you're probably watching this video right now is because you're probably considering joining the military or you already joined the military and you wish you watched this video before you joined because now you don't know what you got yourself into and now you can't get out of it. What's up guys, you're MBTV, you're back at you with another video and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of joining the military, specifically the United States Army. Before we start though, I just want to give a big shout out to Kyle McDaniel, DripKing149 and the rest of you guys who hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post videos and like and comment on every one of my videos that I get, that I upload. You guys are amazing and I really appreciate you guys. My goal is 10,000 subscribers before May, so if you guys are new to the channel and you want to help your boy out. You feel me? So a lot of you guys already know what the pros are about joining the military. So I'm going to start off with all the cons that I've come up with about joining the military in the United States Army. First con about joining the military in the United States Army is being away from home. That's right. You guys are going to be away from home for a significant amount of time. And for some of you guys who are really, really attached to your loved ones back at home, it may be a hard time for you. So joining the military might not be the best decision for you if you can't really get over, you know, not being with a certain someone for a significant amount of time. Because in the military, you guys are going to be traveling a lot. You guys are going to be traveling to far places around the world. And you guys are probably not going to see your family for like a year, or even more than a year. So if this is a struggle for you, I would say if you join the military, try to like FaceTime your family members and loved ones as much as you can, send them letters, try to talk to them as much as possible to fill in that gap because it is going to be a struggle. The second con about joining the United States Army is that you cannot quit. That's right. If you guys wake up one day and you guys really just don't feel like going to work, they don't care. The military does not care. You are entitled or you will go to work whenever the army tells you to. They don't care that you're sick. Now, mind you, there are options that you guys can take if you guys are feeling sick. There is sick call that you guys can go to. But overall, you guys will be going to work. And you guys can't just, you know, like in high school, because I joined the military straight out of high school. And in high school, whenever I felt like I didn't want to go to school, I just slept in. Like, maybe I missed first the first two periods or something like that. But like... I wasn't finna go to jail. So this is like my report card from senior year of high school. And this is the amount of tardies that I got. That would not fly in the military. Like I would have been kicked out if I showed up to work 32 times late. How many times were you guys late in high school? Cause I was like senior year, I did not care. In the army, you will get, you know, the worst punishment is going to jail. But like, if you miss, like, if you show up late to formation or to work, you guys will get a counseling statement and then that's the counseling statement is like the least amount of punishment you can get but like i said you guys cannot quit you guys can't just put your two weeks in you guys sign a contract and you guys are expected to serve the fullest amount to that contract if that makes sense but there are ways to get out of the military early you guys can get medically discharged or you guys can just get in trouble and get kicked out of the military. But I highly recommend you guys do not go that route because it will mess up your future endeavors in the civilian world. The third con about joining the United States military is that if somebody over you tells you to do something, you are expected to follow through with it. Unless it's immoral or unlawful, you will do whatever they ask of you. Now, you may think it's stupid, you may think it's dumb. They can literally say, okay, move this here. Okay, now I want you to move it back to where you got it from. Yeah, it's gonna be stuff like that. And you're gonna, I, I highly suggest you guys to just like, you know, whatever you have to say, hold it in, man, and just do it. Because people who complain in the military, you guys will not get very far. So you guys will be doing stuff in the military that you don't think makes sense, but unless it's immoral or unlawful, if somebody tells you to do something that's over you, you are expected to do it. The fourth and last kind of about joining the United States military is that once you guys sign those papers, you guys no longer have your freedom of expression. You guys are limited to what you guys can say about your political beliefs, your political government, your religion, really. You guys really cannot be, you guys can't really have an opinion. Right, you guys, it's, or in uniform, you can't have an opinion. The military is neutral. The military does not support Republican. The military does not support Democrat. So it's important that you guys do not, you know, go in uniform or, you know, even out of uniform. If people know you're a soldier, you can't really speak about stuff like, especially your president. You're, the president to you in the military is your commander in chief. That is your boss. No matter what, you will, you know, no matter how you feel about him, or her, 
you will do whatever they say and you won't express any towards any opinion towards them like it's just that you guys also can't you know males if you like to paint your nails you guys can't paint your nails you can't you can't have your hair you know long you guys you know females they're changing the regulations now to be a little bit more expressive but for the most part you guys really can't express yourselves how you would in the civilian world so if cutting your hair is a problem i wouldn't suggest joining the military so that's it for the cons and i'm going to talk about the pros the first pro about joining the united states military or the army is the benefits now whenever somebody mentions the military or the army they mention the amount of benefits that you guys get for just being in the military no matter what job you choose you guys get access to a lot of benefits i'm going to make a separate video about all the benefits in the military but you guys for example you guys get free housing if you're a single soldier or free housing in general if you're married the army will pay for your house if you guys want to go to college the army will pay for your college you guys get free health care so for an example i'm a dental assistant right i work in a dental clinic and i'm telling you right now dental that stuff is expensive if you guys were to go in the civilian world and try to get some of the dental work that you guys will get in the army for free that's like over thousand thousand thousands of dollars of procedures that you guys will have to pay for in the civilian world but now that you guys are in the military all that stuff is covered the military pays for your food, your clothing. You guys get a retirement pension if you guys do 20 years. You guys get hella discounts at like shoe stores and all these other types of stores. You guys get the VA home loan. You guys get a lot of benefits. So the first pro about joining the United States military is the immense amount of benefits that you guys get. And for some of us who really weren't born into like any type of wealth or money, like the military, that is like the next best thing, man. The military is really a come up depending on how you use it. The second pro about joining the United States military is travel. That's right, the United States military will take you all over the world. You know, they might take you to Afghanistan or Iraq or like the beautiful, calm, sandy beaches of Kuwait. I'm only 19 years old and the military has took me to Fort Sam Houston, that's in Texas, near San Antonio. I've been to Oklahoma, now I'm in New York. New York, I could go to New York City, I could go to Canada, I could go to Niagara Falls. The military will take you to a lot of places and most importantly, they will take you there for free. A lot of people do not have that opportunity. A lot of people don't travel in life. I highly recommend you guys travel, see the world. Like the world is a beautiful place. It's good to get outside your home time. And it's good to see like different places, different cultures. It's like, it's cool. You're gonna meet new cool people and you're just gonna have a good time. Just, I mean, if you guys like traveling and all that stuff, you guys, if you guys like playing, you know, games and staying in all day, that's cool too. But like traveling, especially while you're young, it's pretty cool. You guys are gonna make memories for the rest of your life and you guys are gonna have a meaningful life. The third pro for joining the United States military is the job experience and the free job training that you guys get. So when you guys pick your job in the United States Army, all the training that you get is completely paid for by the Army and all that training you get is invaluable in the civilian world. For an example, I'm a CCA Echo dental assistant. The Army taught me how to be a dental assistant. If I wanna be a dental hygienist, I could. there's an X2 program that teaches me how to be a dental hygienist. That's like a thousand dollars, over a thousand thousand dollars dollars school right there for free, paid for by the army. So when I get out the army, I could be a dental hygienist if I wanted to, and all that is paid for by the United States military. So the military is gonna give you all this free job training and most importantly, experience. Because most people in college, they come out with these degrees and all this other stuff, but they don't have the experience. And what's more important to employers, a piece of paper or actual experience? and a piece of paper because you're in a freaking military and you're dope as hell bro but for real for real like you guys get a lot of job experience and a lot of job training that would cost you thousands and thousands of dollars in the civilian world and it's really really valuable and just because you're a veteran employers will look at you differently because being a veteran that usually means that you know how to lead people you have great work ethic and you have an undeniable attitude and you're determined right so that just makes you stand out already and most jobs tend to hire veterans because they get a stimulus from the government when they hire veterans so like it's a win-win the fourth and last pro of joining the united states military is the security and the stability so it's 2020 right now. 2020 was a, you know, coronavirus and all that other stuff. It was a cluster crap, right? I'm not gonna say the F word because I'm trying not to cuss, but 2020 proved that the world is uncertain and like things may happen. So 
a lot of people lost their jobs, a lot of people, you know, going through tough times. But for all those people in the military or who have federal jobs or government jobs, they were pretty much untouched by it. You guys signed a contract and you guys are going to serve that contract. So whatever happens in between that time will not affect you. So like I said, if coronavirus happens, you guys are unaffected. And the United States will always need an army. So they're not going to fire you. No matter what you do, as long as you do right by the regulations, you can do anything. The arm, You will always have a job in the army. So that's all the pros and cons that I got for you guys today. I'm not going to make the video too long, but if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. If you guys like the video, like the video and comment down below anything, you know? And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.